we, we're in a uh, uh, unusual situation. We have so many more therapies to treat lung cancers. We have, um, we had very limited options just a decade ago. There really was no targeted therapy. There was virtually no anti-angiogenic therapy. There was no immunotherapy. And, and once you had metastatic disease, you didn't operate on anybody. And you seldom used radiation once the disease is metastatic. That's all changed now. And I think one issue for all doctors is how do you choose among all these different options for a patient with lung cancer? Uh, I'm absolutely convinced that the right choice is, is critical for the longest and, and the best life for patients. But um, there is not a guidebook on how to do that. Um, uh, just uh, you know, a couple of thoughts is, is keep an open mind, use everything at your disposal, uh, and also you know think about what's right for that patient. You know some things, uh, a growing lesion a year into therapy with squamous cancer. Most of us would say I'm not, I'm, I'm going to change chemotherapy. Well, you know that may not be the right thing if you have somebody with good disease control elsewhere, maybe giving a local therapy, giving uh, SPRT, giving even surgery, or radio, um, radiofrequency ablation might be the best thing. Um, but it's just try to make the best decision for, for each patient. Uh, our job is better because we can do more and help people live longer and better, but it's gotten a lot harder because we have so many more choices, and because people are living longer, we have more choices that we have to make.